One point, that was the difference between a state berth for Bemidji Wrestling and the loss that they suffered against Wilmer in the section final. The Jacks returned many key contributors from last year and are ready for some revenge. The Jacks sent seven wrestlers to the state tournament last year and returned six of them, giving them a seasoned group this winter. It, it helps us out a lot with the experience and the talent that their team has. They kind of know the expectations. Uh, they can take the younger guys kind of under their wing, let them know what to expect, what's expected of them. Some injuries to the roster early in the season have given opportunities to some of the younger wrestlers that should increase the team's depth. Well, certainly it gives us a little bit of a slow start overall, but it gives some other kids some opportunities, some kids with less experience, and uh, that'll, it'll prepare us better for the end of the season. It gives like people like a chance to show what they got, like if they're not on the varsity lineup and they can step up. There are some holes in the team at the lighter weights. The bar hopes can be filled by some of the eighth graders and freshmen as the year goes on. We want to get them some experience on JV. It's a long season. Get them some success and slowly move them into that position. We just motivate them in practice and like when we're warming up we'll try to get them going and get them the confidence to like go out there and win their match. Bemidji is ranked fifth in the state, Wilmer sixth. So a chance of revenge in the Section 8-3A championship could be in the cards and has provided plenty of motivation for the Lumberjacks. Just all throughout the offseason, like we've been wanting to get better and just change that one match that we could have changed. It motivates me a lot, being this my last year of high school wrestling, and I may not be able to wrestle ever again after that. And the Lumberjacks take on Detroit Lakes tomorrow for their first home meet on Thursday against Sartell. All right. They had a good season last year. Not not too much. Uh, they haven't, didn't lose too much off that. No, season. not too much. They finished uh, third at the Paul Bunyan mm -hmm. and Brainerd on Saturday. So off yep. to a pretty good start. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.